let's go fishing today. I'm going to use my Mach Wheel Upland Plus to get down a tough, shifty sand beach to the best spot for shark fishing. Stay tuned. It's time to test this Mach Wheel Fat Tire Cruiser out here on the beach with all my fishing gear rigged up. I'm out here with my buddy Steve Sharon, and we're in this top secret spot, but it's not really top secret because I'll put the link to where we are down below. Let's see how I've rigged out this bike to get me here. It's, I've got a lot of stuff on there because I like carrying a lot of stuff when I go fishing. I take a lot of stuff with me when I go fishing. The most important thing is the dollar store cutting board to keep the bike from flipping over. Moving up, I've got my saddlebags, sunshade, tripod, moving around to the front. You can see my camp stool, my rod carriers. On the right hand side, saddlebags again, lock, water bottle. Now, I kind of think that these saddlebags are a little bit of an overkill. They're, they're just too large. I'm going to go ahead and swap those out for something smaller. And that'll fit my gear a lot tighter. Moving back around to the left, you can see that I've got a lot of stuff on this bike, probably 20 pounds. Here's my bait bucket, and I carry a little bubbler in there to keep the bait alive uh, after I catch them. All in all, loaded up just fine. I need to point out that Mach Wheel gave me the Upland Plus to use in this video, but I have no financial relationship with them, no commission, no affiliate, nothing. So my opinion is my opinion. Before I set up, I wanted to run around the beach a little bit, go up some hills, hit some mushy sand, just to see how the Upland Plus performed. And here's the footage right here. Okay, let's do some testing here. Up into the mushy sand. No problems at all with the heavy weight of all my fishing gear. We are coming up on the spot that's always mushy. Let's see how the mock wheel handles it. Have to climb up the hill a little bit into softer sand. No problems at all on a fat tire beach cruiser. Coming up on more soft sand right here. Don't really want to go off here to the right. This is where fat tires really pay off. When there's a slant to the beach, if you're on a regular bike, it'll sink in. Fat tire with a little bit of power runs just fine and the cool thing is that you've got the juice to head down into the really soft sand go up and around i'm in mushy sand right now no problems at all moving okay heading up to the hill here a little bit of a little bit of throttle to get across the mush. So how did it perform when I was running up and down the beach there? Well, the key thing to understand how to optimize the use of the Upland Plus is to understand the relationship between the throttle and the pedal assist level. If you're in pedal assist one, two, three, four, five, and you hit the throttle, it maxes out at the amount of power associated with that pedal assist level. So if you wanted full power, you need to be in pedal assist five. So what that meant to me is I ran up and down the hills over here is I had to bump it up to pedal assist two so I could get a little oomph on the throttle to make it up over the soft sand. Once you understand the relationship between throttle and pedal assist, the bike performed like a dream. I'm out here at the point now and we're all set up for shark fishing. It's probably not the optimum time of year for it. It's late April. They don't really move back into this part of the Cape Fear River and Basin for a while. But we've seen some dolphins out here, so maybe the sharks are around too. The key thing 
is not to get skunked. I've got to catch at least one fish. Shark fishing with Steve Sharon. Got here on my moke wheel. <laughs> Made that really simple to get out here to this good spot. So I got a big chunk of bluefish on, three ounce weight, 100 pound shock leader and 65 pound test main line with a seven aught hook. I am not gonna lose a shark this time. Let's get it out there, see if I can catch something. We started to tie into some Spanish mackerel right out here in the rough spot. There's a boat out here to the left. He's tied into them as well. And so we're switching to casting jigs to see if we can catch some more of these guys. I got a big one, all right! I got a fish! I'm not skunked! Ah! It's a fish, Steve, it counts! Woo! Well, we're about to wrap it up. We know there's some fish, big fish out there. Bit off half my bait. Well, one more cast. I'm going to throw this out, wait another 15 minutes. And then I think we'll pack it in and just have some fun riding the e-bikes. Well, the wind is coming up. Time to head back. I'm glad I have electric power to push through the wind. It's about a 20 mile an hour wind. And that would be really hard to move through into the wind on the couple miles back to where I parked the truck. I'm grateful that I've got this mock wheel upland plus to get me back there decent bike you guys have any experience with it if so throw it in the comments below thanks <laughs>